In this video, we will be looking at several ways to generate editable surfaces based on freeform curves. So to start, let's assume some arbitrary shape here using six control points. I'm going to copy this curve to the sweep two layer and start working on that one. So this curve has uh, six control points and for this tutorial I would like to uh, point you at some options in Rhino and the mouse. And this is the default setting but I would like to turn these off and make control points uh, control polygon pickable. Uh, personally, I don't really like these options um, that are standard on. So I turn them off. So once you click on the curve, the control points no longer show. And I have to press F10 to show them or use this tool to turn the points on. <clears throat> So right now I'm going to mirror this curve around the x-axis and I'm going to create two curves from the end, connecting the ends. And then I'm rebuilding these two curves. Using four control points and degree 3. Turning on the control points and translating these points. Then using surface, sweep to rail, selecting the two rails and the two sections. Now this is the default behavior to refit the rails, but I do not want that. I just want to have a clean uh, result. So no refit, sweep. And you will see that the control point structure is very simple. Once that is done, I will select the curves and delete them. And this one is now very editable. As you can see, you can just uh, move things around. Rotate points. Now, if I would like to close the one of the ends, because uh, this should be rounded, for example, I can do that by uh, adding more control points near to the end. So using insert control point. Right now it's flowing in the U direction, but I want that in the V direction. And then I'll pick these points by double clicking on one of the control uh, polygons and I use the command set point to align that point in all uh, directions x y and z you see they uh, they come together in one point and I want that point to be right in between these two points here to get it rounded. Uh, one way to do that is to use the between option. So I pick two points 
and that gives me the uh, smooth end. Now, if you're going to do this a lot of times, uh, it makes sense to make a shortcut for it. I've uh, already uh, done that, and you can do that in aliases. So, look for aliases, and uh, the correct uh, structure or commands to do this. is uh, using dash underscore set pt x is yes y is yes z is yes align is world and b for between and that also means you have to have um, the shortcut b for between so this is actually uh, a combination of two uh, aliases. So I assigned my alias as B to, to be this command. So the way to do it is adding the plus, let's say, uh, call this one new alias dash underscore set pt x is yes y is yes, z is yes, align equals world, and between. So that would mean if I'm using that new alias, that's exactly what it's going to do. It asks me two points. And there you go. So the next thing I want to look at is um, one of the two loft options. So I'll activate that layer and copy this curve to my loft layer. Now I'll mirror this curve again around the x-axis, select the other curve and run surface loft. Uh, do not simplify the result. Uh, loose option and loft. Now, in this case, I'm not going to rebuild uh, the curves. I'm going to rebuild uh, the resulting surface. So let's delete the original curves. So I have only the surface. And you will see that uh, right now it has the same uh, structure as my original curves had. So six control points in this direction. But in the other direction, I want to have more control in order to deform the surface. Now there are two options to do this. I can uh, again use the edit rebuild. Uh, and that uh, asks me to rebuild the surface in two directions. So my original V direction had six. And then my U direction, I will increase the point count to four or more and degree three. And you see it slightly alters the shape of my surface. So also the control point spacing is adjusted in this direction. Now, in case you don't want that, you can also do a rebuild UV. Uh, in that case, you can keep one direction the same 
And in this case, the U direction, I can rebuild only. So now the uh, structure in the V direction stays the same. Delete the input. And that leaves me uh, with more control points in the U direction. So now I can do something similar as the sweep option to deform the points. So by double clicking on a row and moving it, If you want these to be equally in height, I can also use set point in the Z direction. And probably want to lower these a little bit. And since the structure is really simple, you see that you can make fluent edits. Maybe some scaling here. Another way to increase the density of control points instead of adding control points like I showed in the sweep two option is to use a command called insert not. So this is the direction of the uh, inserting and by choosing automatic you can increase density without altering the shape. So adding automatic ones and again uh, using my shortcut for setting the point between those two endpoints. So that's going to be SB for me. We could also do the same at this end. Double clicking these, SB. Picking two points. Gives me two smooth ends. You see I'm increasing the density in the U direction even more to have six control points to work with. Now if I want to transform these points, of course I don't want to transform the end point. So double clicking on these points and then deselecting the end points in case I want to transform to alter the shape. Alternatively, you can select these endpoints first and use height PT for height point. So in that case, you can no longer select them and also they're just uh, fixed in place this way. So that's a loft option one. Let's take a look at another option to loft. So I have these two curves. Actually, I modified one of the copies. Um, and I'm creating one section at the end and rebuilding. So rebuild. Let's increase the density a bit more and move some control points. Uh, 
Now, if I want to make a shape with lofting in this direction, I need to have several sections along the curve. But actually, I want to have them right at the control points of my curves to remain this shape. I'll do that by making copies of these sections to these endpoints, to these control points. Now by scaling these in uh, these curves uh, with the endpoints, so scaling them to these points. You will see that in the end, the loft will exactly follow the shape of my uh, curves. Uh, so again, these sections have the beginning and end point right at the control points of my curves. So now if I do a loft between those And I, you see, this is going to look wrong because I picked these curves at these ends and these at the other ends. You can always align by clicking on these points. And again, using loose option. And then you will see it follows exactly these input curves. Whereas with normal, it will go through these curves instead of using the control points. So this leaves me with a surface that is um, following exactly my input sections. Alternatively, you can also loft directly to a point to make a smooth ending. So to do this, I'm making one extra section a little bit more close to the end. And I'm adding a point object. And I'm using my shortcut B alias for between. I'm picking these two ends. And then making the loft from section to section and ending at that point object. Um, you see that gives me this smooth end. With the emap I can even better visualize the smoothness of this surface. Um, one more thing about uh, transforming points if you're starting to edit the shape. So whenever you transform, it's uh, going to stay smooth. But you have to take care that uh, the endpoints stay in the same plane, so to speak, because if this point and these last couple of control points are not in the same plane, you get some pinching points at the end. I'll show you. Turning on these control points, if I'm moving this point, you see you get a sharp, a sharp ending there. So if I don't want that, same goes for moving one of these control points. So you cannot really do that. You have to keep them in one uh, plane because otherwise you get this pinching. So whenever you transform, transform all these points together, for example, scaling, 
I could do that from this point. And lastly, I'm going to show one more option, which is called ribbon. So you have this curve again and running ribbon and choosing the lose option t4 between sorry t4 through point i can make a surface right away and that has a clean structure versus if i run ribbon without the lose option you get a more dense control point structure So um, if I would want to transform this again, I could um, do that by transforming points, uh, followed by rebuild UV, then following with rebuild UV. Six control points in the U direction. And then again, I can start transforming control points. And with command, I can deselect control points. It's control on Windows. And that concludes this video on um, working with freeform curves and transforming them into freeform surfaces that are editable. I hope you found this uh, useful and if you do have any questions we can address those in the next few lessons.